All right, we're back again with another video. This time I'm doing more CGC books. So let's get it started. Welcome back to Wild Comics, everyone. Thank you so much for always coming back and supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. I know I've been absent for a while. This is the second video that I've dropped. Um, I'm going to continue to make more content, except for this time, I'm going to try doing things a little bit differently. I think I'm going to be doing CGC books and all that fun stuff. Um, but I'm tinkering with the idea of getting back into the mystery box game. So, uh, <laughs> except for this time, I'm going to be a little more harder, a little more a little bit more challenging on some of the books that I receive or items that I receive in these mystery boxes. Um, I'm probably going to give that Spider-Man booth another try. I'm probably going to give Torpedo Comics another try. And of course, I'm going to uh, scroll through Instagram and see if there's anybody else out there that is doing mystery boxes. Um, I do have a couple of mystery boxes um, that I do have lined up already. So I'll drop those in future content. But for now, we're doing CGC books. The, this box should be nothing but Department of Truth books. Um, I've had this sitting in my garage for the past few months now. I have not opened it because a ton of stuff has been going on. So needless to say, I hope there's five books in here. I'm hoping that they're all Department of Truth. And if they're not, then I have no idea. And we're in for a surprise. So I'm going to time lapse this. So hang tight. Okay, and we're back. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five books are here. And guess what, you guys? We get double shots. Double shots. So let's see. We'll go and then we'll go. Oh, I missed you both times, but that's all right. So um, I'm going to kick the invoice down there. I'm not quite sure what we have. So let me just let me try moving this off a little off camera so you don't see it and I don't see it. And we kind of ruin the surprise. Ain't no one like ruin surprises. Okay, so. Looks like I have them upside down. So let's see what we got. Here is the first book, and it looks like it is a Department of Truth. Um, kind of been out for a while, um, so I'm not quite sure how these books are going to grade. I know every book I send in is pretty much in a near mint state. So um, Department of Truth was super hot. I believe it's still warming up. These books are still hot. Um, I'm looking at this book right here, and there's a couple spine ticks. I mean, pretty bad spine ticks. To the point to where, like, I, I don't think I would have submitted it if it had those spine ticks like that. So, anyways, let you guys take a look at the grade first. There it is. I'll take a look. Oh, nine, six. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, though. <laughs> I see one, two, I see three spine ticks, all color breaking, and it still came back a nine, six. So, yeah, I don't know. Take that as you will. CGC has definitely been out their game lately. So... There's one. So this should all be Department of Truth books. So let's see. The second book I have is going to be this one. All right. Department of Truth number one. This is Image Comics 920. I'm looking at it again. It's been a while. This book looks super clean. This book looks super clean. Okay. So here it goes. The grade on this one is going to be, let you guys take a look at it first. Yes. All right. 9.8. Cool. Can't be mad about that. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> All right. There's two out of five already. We have a 9.6. We have a 9.8. Next one's... And I think there's probably double covers of some of these. So here's the next one. Um, this is also another... I think it's just a different cover, as obviously. So um, let you guys take a look at it. This one is... Again, this one's pretty clean. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, this, one, this, one, this one's super clean as well. So I'll let you guys take a look at the grade first. Nine six, dude. What the heck, man? Nine six. I'm not seeing how this is a nine six. Where is it at? Wow. I don't know how this could be a nine six. That sucks. Okay. Not going the way I want it to go. And it's always hard. People think, oh, nine six are yeah, they're cool, right? But on modern books like this, especially this new, they should be coming back nine eights. Here's the next one. Another Department of Truth number one. 
same exact cover, same exact book. Hopefully this one's a 9.8. Let you guys take a look at it. Yes. All right. I got a 9.8. Cool. I got a 9.6 and 9.8. I can probably sell the 9.6. And then the last book, which I believe is going to be the same cover as the first book, is going to be this one. Let you guys go ahead and take a look at that one. Yeah, this is the, the variant... Uh, variant cover B, cover B. So let you guys take a look at that one. Let you guys take a look at the grade. Oh my gosh, really? Another 9.6? Dude, and this one doesn't have any... Okay, time out. That's ridiculous. This one right here... I'm going to see if I can get up and maybe try showing you guys. This one right here... This is crazy. I think the camera's going to be too far away. has three spine ticks in it. Oh, you guys go see it. But there's three spine ticks in this book. Right by her shoulder. Right? I don't know how well you saw that. I don't know. I don't know if that's even coming up or not. But this one right here has absolutely oh and the case is scratched and cracked. No, that's great. This one right here has absolutely nothing, not even a tick on it. Not even one tick on it. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I'd get back into this and it'd be fun. Apparently, it's not. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that's going to be all my books. Um, it's cool, I guess. I mean, I don't, don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but that, that's pretty disappointing. But um, but stay tuned. I have Again, I have more mystery boxes that will be coming. I have more CGC books hopefully coming sometime soon if they ever get them checked in or whatever. But um, but that's going to be it. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much for watching. I always appreciate it. If you hit the subscribe button, that even is better. You'll get updated on all my future content drops and everything else. There's a lot of information in the description below as far as uh, the podcast lounge, where we do all of our editing processing for videos and content. Um, also have a website link there from my website to where I can assist and help you with all your pressing, cleaning, and submission needs. Um, but until then, you guys, you know how it goes. Keep it wild, keep it fun, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.